Today I'm going to share five amazing tips that are going to make your skincare routine easier and more effective. That's coming up next. Welcome in, I'm Kimberly. This is Pretty Over 50, where we talk everything makeup, skincare, and style for the over 50 woman. I'm not going to lie, I am so excited about today's video because it's on a topic that I'm very, very passionate about. And that is making something we want to do easier and more effective. If you're new here, I'm so glad you stopped by for this one. I hope you'll consider subscribing while you're here. And make sure you click that notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And if you're interested in more makeup, skincare, and style for the over 50 and over 60 women, stop by prettyover50.com. There's a lot more great information just waiting for you there. As you might know, I started my anti-aging skincare routine almost two years ago. I had been a skin neglector all my life. I'm not kidding you. <laughs> I just had not given any thought to my skin whatsoever. I went to sleep with my makeup on. I didn't wash my face regularly. I didn't wear sunscreen. I was exactly the worst, most horrible person as far as taking care of your skin. Long story short, it finally caught up with me and one day I looked in the mirror and I thought, oh my gosh, <laughs> I look so much older than I thought I did. I decided then that I had two choices. I could either live with it or see if I could change it. The problem was is that I am not a routine person. I thrive on change and adventure. So getting me to do something regularly day after day after day was going to be a struggle because I am always doing new things, going new places, staying here, staying there, and adding regular skincare into my routine was going to be a little bit of a puzzle. What I've been able to do over the last couple of years is figure out out how to keep a regular skincare routine as part of my life and not feel tied down to it or feel like it is a burden. So I want to share my top five tips with you today. I get emails and direct messages and posts and comments from so many of you that say I don't know where to start. It's overwhelming. And you know what? It can be overwhelming to start a skincare routine regardless at what age. My goal today is to give you these five important tips that I think are going to make your skincare routine much easier, much more effective because you're going to be able to do it regularly and it's not going to feel like a big drag on your life. These are absolutely my very best tips. I incorporate every single one of these into my life every single day. As always, everything that I talk about and mention today will be listed and linked below and they'll also be over on the blog, so super easy for you to find. And with that, let's hop into the five very awesome skincare tips. Tip number one, and for the love of all that's holy, please, please do this one. Take before pictures. I promise you, you will be so glad you did. And make sure that when you take the pictures that they're very comprehensive. In other words, I want you to take a picture of the front of your face, the side of your face. I want you to take pictures of your face just natural with your face smiling so you can see your crow's feet. I want you to take really, really good pictures of your face in good sunlight so you have a really good idea of where you're starting from. And even if you've had a skincare routine for years and years and years, Take some pictures and make sure you date them. I'll tell you why. Taking a picture is so very easy. It doesn't cost anything. You can put the images on your computer and save them in a folder and you will be so shocked and so surprised when you look back at your skin months down the road. I took a lot of pictures when I first started my skincare routine because I wanted to be able to show before and afters. It has ended up being one of the best things that I've done for myself personally to let myself know that my skincare routine is actually working. There are days when I'll look in the mirror and think, oh boy, this is such a slow road. And then I go and look back of the pictures when I first started, I'll go, oh, okay, yeah, things are getting much, much better. The pictures will not only help you know what changes you've made in your skin and what you may want to address next, but it will really continue to encourage you along the way. So the very, very first thing I'd like to have you do, and please, if you need to stop the video right now and go do it, do that. But take some before pictures of yourself, front, side, straight face, smiling, put them in a folder, and you're going to be so glad you have them a few months from now. 
The second tip I have for you is to really be clear about what your skincare goals are. It can feel really overwhelming when you watch videos from people like me who are talking about all these different products and devices. Sometimes it can feel like, oh my gosh, I've got to go out and get all of these. And the fact is, is that you absolutely don't. The reason I review a lot of products on my channel is to let you know what they do and what issues they address and then you can decide if they're appropriate for your goals in your skincare routine. Having a clear understanding of what your goals are will give you the opportunity to define your next important need and then go out and find either the product or the device that's going to address that need. That's the most important place that we can come from in an anti-aging skincare routine is to be really, really clear on what our next goal is and where we want to take our skin next. It doesn't make any sense to buy a product or a device that really doesn't address what your major next goals are. It's just a waste of money and time. The reason that I review so many different products and devices is to let you know what they do and whether they do it well and how they do it. That way you can assess, is that something I need? Is it next on my goal list for my skin? If it's not, then just leave it aside. However, there may be information in there that is perfect for the next goal you have for your skin, and then you've got it, you know exactly where to go and exactly how to use it. When I started my skincare routine, I was just like out there in the wild, not really knowing where to turn, and I bought a lot of products and did a lot of things that ended up being a waste of money and a waste of time. If I had known to really define what my immediate and long-term goals were, it would have been a lot more expedient and probably a lot more faster and cheaper. So knowing what your skincare goals are super important, write them down, be really clear on where you're going, and I think it's going to be a lot quicker and a lot more fun process for you. The third tip I have for you is important and it is going to take a little bit of time and that is understanding the products that you're using and why you're using them. The reason this is so important is because as we move forward in our skincare routine our needs will change from time to time. In other words, we'll want to use certain products for certain conditions and other products for other situations. For instance, when I microneedle my face, the last thing I want to do then is put on Retin-A or any type of irritating acid on my skin after that kind of treatment. That would not be productive for the microneedling treatment I just did. What I know is that I want to just put on something that's very, very soothing so that can actually work on my skin overnight and then I can wake up in the morning and get back to my regular routine. Knowing what's in your products and what they do on your skin is vital. For instance, if you get a sunburn on your face, what products are you going to want to put aside until that sunburn is cleared up and what products are you going to want to move forward to help soothe your skin. So make sure that every product that you add to your routine that you're clear on what it does and why you're using it. I know that seems overwhelming right now, but if you add products into your routine slowly and with purpose and intention, you're going to really have a good understanding of what your skincare routine is and why you're using each individual product. I hear from people all the time, okay, I see this new serum or this new product, when should I put it in my routine? And my answer is, is if you don't know where to put it in your routine, you're not ready to purchase it. You want to make sure that you're clear on why you're adding that product to your routine, what it's going to do for your skin, and whether that is fitting in with your long-term skincare goals. So knowing your products, knowing when to use them and when not to use them, an excellent way to move your skincare routine forward. Alrighty, so now we have very, very good pictures of our skin before we get started or wherever you are now. We also know what our goals are for our skincare. Are we looking to address fine lines and wrinkles, sallowness, age spots, melasma, whatever the goals are, make sure you have them written down and you're clear on them. And you have a very good understanding of all the products in your skincare routine and why you're using them. The next tips, and these have been so important to my skincare routine because I can get really, really lazy 
And as I already said, routine is not my deal. I had to figure out a way to make doing my skincare very, very easy and convenient so I wouldn't dread it, that I wouldn't put it off, and I wouldn't just eventually just give up altogether. With the number of products that I'm using both morning and evening, it became very, very important to me that I could go through my whole skincare routine really, really quickly and not have it be a hassle. One of the things I did is I went out and bought two buckets. This bucket contains my morning skincare routine. This bucket contains my evening skincare routine. Why do I have them in the buckets all lined up? Because I'm in the bathroom and I probably don't have my glasses or my contact in. I can't see a dang thing. So what I have done is I have lined up all the products that I'm going to use all in a row. So I just go boom, 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 boom. I can do my skincare routine so quickly. I don't have to see the bottles. I already know what's coming next because it's next in the line. And I really don't have to think. I can just go down the line. And before you know it, I've got all my products on my face in probably less than a minute. I do the same thing with my evening skincare routine. Boom, 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 all down the line and I'm done for the night. And I'll tell you, that's such a good feeling. In addition, I found a few things that make the whole thing even easier. First of all, having a good headband to hold my hair back so I can get my face washed without my hair falling in my face is crucial because <laughs> little things like my hair falling in my face, it just annoys me and it makes me dread doing something. I like things to go really smoothly and really easily. I found these little set of headbands on Amazon. Three came in a pack. They have a Velcro thing right here so you can make it loose or tight, whichever you want. I'll just whip this onto my hair so all my hair is back and I'm able to wash my face really easily. Now we're coming to the next little clever idea and you're gonna think I'm a bit off my rocker, but I promise you, once you do this, you'll never go back. One of the things that absolutely drives me nuts about washing my face is when the water drips down my arm. You know, you're washing your face and you're going up here and the water is dripping down your arm, either into this shirt you're wearing or down the sleeve of your robe. I can't stand that. It is so annoying to have that water dripping down my arm. In comes the solution. And don't think I'm crazy. Promise me that. <laughs> These are what I put on my wrists before I wash my face. What are these? These are the tops of socks that I picked up at the dollar store. I'm not kidding you one little bit. I have several pair in my cabinet in my bathroom. And I'll simply put these on my wrists. And then when I splash my face with water, it catches the water right here. It doesn't get inside my robe. It doesn't make my shirt wet and it doesn't drive me crazy. Having these makes washing my face so much nicer. And I promise you, if you try this, you will never not want them again. That's how good they are. As far as how I put my serums and my moisturizer and my sunscreen on every day, people have asked me, how long do you wait in between each serum? And the answer is, I don't. I put all my serums on because you know why? They're all going to soak into my skin. <laughs> It doesn't really matter whether I wait a few minutes, they're all going to be absorbed in my skin. Once I have my serums on, I will generally wait just a couple of minutes before I'll put my moisturizer on because I do place certain serums in different parts of my face for different reasons. And I want them to have a chance to soak in a little bit more thoroughly before I put my moisturizer on and smooth that all over my face. If the serums are still really wet and they haven't soaked in yet, then they're gonna move all over my face and sometimes that's not where I want them. I'll wait a few minutes for those serums to kind of absorb into my skin before I put my moisturizer on. Once I have my moisturizer on, I'll generally wait five to 10 minutes before I put my sunscreen on. Why do I do that? It just seems to me that my skincare will peel up less often when I let the moisturizer soak in a little bit before I put my sunscreen on. That's just my experience. It might not be the same for you, but I find waiting just a few minutes between the moisturizer and the sunscreen 
seems to really work for me. We're on to the last tip, and this one is so very important. It does make or break my skincare routine and my consistency with doing it. Tip number five is do it early and make it easy. And what I mean by that is I find that if I put off doing my skincare, a lot of times it doesn't get done. For instance, when I wake up in the morning, the very first thing I do is I put the kettle on for my French press coffee and while that water is boiling, I'll go sit in front of my red light unit. I keep my red light unit on the back of my bedroom door all the time. And that falls under the category of make it easy. I make sure that everything that I'm going to use in my skincare routine is charged up, plugged in, ready to go, and really, really easy for me to use or I'll find myself putting it off because I feel like it's too much of a hassle. In addition, I make sure all the devices that I use in the morning are always sitting there charged up waiting for me to use them. So while my water is boiling, I'm sitting in front of my red light unit. While my coffee is brewing in the French press pot, I'll come in here and use my Nera. This takes me maybe three or four minutes by the time I'm done with this, my coffee is ready to go. So I have figured out ways to use my devices and manage my skincare routine in between other things that I'm waiting for so I don't feel like I'm taking time out of my day in order to do the things that I want to do for my skin. I have simply found ways to fit them into activities that I always do so I don't feel like it's taking me extra time. For my Nebulift device, and I haven't talked about this yet on the channel, this is a radio frequency device. I use it almost every day. I love it so much. I use this in the morning while I'm watching a YouTube video. I am always watching different YouTube videos on different subjects that I'm interested in. Right now, it's camper trailers. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll turn on a video about camping trailers and use my Nebula while I'm watching that video. So I've learned what I wanted to learn for the day and gotten some skincare done. Making it super, super easy has been critical for me because, again, I can tend to be a little bit lazy and let's face it, Skincare is not something you bounce out of bed excited to do in the morning. It's more like brushing your teeth. It's something that you know you want to do and you want to get it done. And making it easier helps me to get it done on a regular basis. As far as do it early, I do my skincare first thing in the morning because by golly, once the day starts rolling along, I think I'm going to go back and do that. I never, never do because I always have other things that seem more interesting and more fun or more pressing. So when I wake up in the morning, I hop right into my skincare. I fit them in between other activities I'm doing, and I make sure that it's not just taking a 15-minute chunk out of my day that I'm not accomplishing something else while I'm doing it. Additionally, I have found that in the evening, getting my skincare routine done early as possible is really, really important because if I've been out hiking all day long or kayaking or just running my body ragged, I can sit on the couch and by golly, that's the last productive thing I'll do for the rest of the day. I can tend to get really, really tired and not want to go in there and do my evening skincare. So if I come home for the day and it's four o'clock and I know I'm not going out again, by golly, I'll go in and wash my face and do my evening skincare and by golly it's done and I'm so thrilled and happy when 9 30 10 o'clock rolls around and all I can do is crawl to bed. So important make it easy and do it early. Those are my absolute best top five skincare tips. I use every single one of them all the time. I hope you found these tips useful and helpful. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, make sure you smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And if you're interested in more makeup, skincare, and style for the over 50 woman, stop by prettyover50.com. There's a lot more great information just waiting for you there. I am thrilled that you took a few minutes out of your day to spend it with me. I appreciate that, and I appreciate you. Again, I'm Kimberly. This is Pretty Over 50, where we talk everything makeup, skincare, and style for the over 50 woman. Make it a great day. Wear your sunscreen and all. See you in the next video. Bye now.